The following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by Valentine's Day is right around the corner, so you know what that means. It's time to find your florist. We're out at Miss You Flowers to see what they're working on. This is Joseph Park. He's a co-owner here. What do you guys have coming up for Valentine's Day? There's some things in front of us. Absolutely. So Valentine's Day for us, it's the biggest day of the year, of, of course. course. And one tip that I want to give to folks that are thinking about treating that special person on Valentine's Day is do not wait to the last minute. Mm -hmm. Last year, we got so many people on the day of, and it just really makes it hard for us to guarantee that we can get that delivery done and guarantee that they get the arrangement that they had it planned for that special someone. And one thing I would tell people is, the arrangement being delivered to them, it, it's so much more special if we can take it to that place of business that that special Amen. someone works. Amen. Yes, I agree, because then everybody sees that you're getting That's flowers right. We like to show to off a little yes. bit, right? So this is literally a mom and pop shop, right? Literally, yes. Mom and dad are in the back. <laughs> and you guys have been around for how long? So. Mom and Dad have been in the floral business for 30 years. We've been in this particular location for two, but we started the business seven years ago. My wife and I were downtown passing out roses to get our name out there. And we just want to thank the community and thank the Roanoke Valley for supporting us, uh, letting us live our dream. I'm now second generation in this business, and we are just so thankful. So after you get your bouquet on Valentine's Day, obviously you want to preserve it as long as possible. So Iris Park, she's another co-owner here. You're gonna give us a tip how to keep them long lasting. Yes, so um, you may have some thorns on the flower. Kind of, uh, let's clean it up a little bit. Um, I use this tool to strip the thorns off of the stem, okay? And that helps keep it. To keep it fresh um, okay. and also, Maybe if you want to put it into a vase, have two different heights. Okay. Um, so I'm going to cut it at an angle. And then just place it. I have some greenery in here all ready to start. And then they're at two different, whoop, cut that again. Two different heights. There you go. So if people want more information, your Facebook page is the most current, most updated, right? Yes. Um, so you can find us on Facebook, um, our website as well, www.missyflowers.com. And we're also, uh, if you want to follow us on Instagram. Okay. Thank you yes, so much. Thank you.